there traders and friends right around the world. I've just the pro analysis recording for this weekend as we transition into trading beginning Monday, April the 13th. And what we have come to the conclusion with to surmise that one hour and 30 minute recording, which is up on the website, is that we have a very, very significant resistance level. In other words, I'm calling this the danger zone moving forward. Please do not go out there enacting uh, overly aggressive long trades, especially when the markets are rallying into this overhead resistance. You're going to soon see why this is what we are calling and referring to the danger zone. We went into some very compelling evidence outside of technical charts also, which are indicating why this is such an important level for the three US indices. This is a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you can see on the S&P 500, I've also drawn the danger area, which we are getting very, very close to uh, as at the close on Friday. I'd encourage anyone out there who is watching this YouTube recording to go in and have a look at that pro analysis workshop. It's very, very important given what the markets are doing, how they are establishing themselves further into 2015. A lot of cautionary signals out there indicating that we may be moving into a very sideways type of range bound market or at least one final blow off rally to the upside which is going to result in a prolonged sideways market move for the three US indices and for that matter our top 13 individual trade list. We are moving also into earnings season now. Of our list, there's only two stocks on that list which are reporting earnings this week, this upcoming week. That is Goldman Sachs and also Netflix. Goldman Sachs is coming out on the 16th. Netflix is set to release their earnings on Wednesday the 15th. Really outside of those two stocks, uh, Monday week, Monday beginning the 20th of April is where a lot of these other big companies are set to, to announce their earnings releases, their earnings documents, their financial statements to the market which is really going to dictate, I do believe, which way the markets are going to move more so in an intermediate time frame. Very important that you get a good understanding of what the markets are doing at this particular moment in time, looking very top heavy at this particular moment in time. Yes, we did see a nice little bounce off from this Fibonacci retracement, this 0.618 based of this measured move right here. We have held this Fibonacci support level for a period of about a month now, but you know, on face value, sure, it is looking somewhat strong given that we are holding this level. But if you dig a little bit deeper, there are a lot of hedges being made in this market. And when we talk about uh, institutional and mutual funds, it appears as though the majority or at least uh, those transacting in the US markets are hedged or pardon me, not hedged to the max, but they are fully invested to the hills at this particular moment in time. A lot of people are complacent at the moment saying that this market is going to continue in its upward trend. Uh, this market is different. Uh, you know, the businesses, the companies have evolved since, you know, 2008, 2000. This market is different for whatever reasons they choose to say so. Um, looking at where this, what the smart money is doing, look at what, uh, you know, again, the smart money is doing the informed investors, the way that they are positioning their investment portfolios at this type of location makes me very, very cautious of what is going on underneath the surface of the technical picture with the three US markets. A lot of stocks are set up very, very nicely to make decent moves over the coming weeks. Now, I can't go into much detail what they are. Have a look at that pro analysis class. We have a look at Apple, Amazon, BA, Baidu, Caterpillar, CVX, Facebook, Google, GoPro, and then I've just referenced Goldman Sachs and Netflix. We have IBM and also Tesla. Uh, I encourage you again, it may be the best investment you make if in fact this market does what we are sort of more so inclined to see in the way of a retracement or a natural healthy sort of pullback. Um, it may be again the best investment which you make if, it's, if it means saving your portfolio from holding through what could be you know, a little bit of a, a or not a little bit, but a, a pretty decent correction, which we haven't really seen since 2012. And going back to 2012, let me just bring back my annotations. We really didn't even see the full shakeout down to that primary trend line. I mean, we have to go back, uh, back, 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 back in time, all the way to this period here, February, March, 2012, really into November, December, 2012, where we sort of saw, you know, a little bit of a correction. I wouldn't call this a correction. Uh, it wasn't a true correction. We did sort of delve around that 10% correction, but what I'm really referring to is more so a 20, 30% up to a 40% correction, which may take place over the next maybe three to four months if it sets up well enough. This is all going to sort of clarify and crystallize as we move further into 2015. But, you know, looking at these markets at the moment, 
just to surmise, quite reluctant to be looking at overly aggressive long trades, more so setting myself up for better positions at higher levels when we start to see better confirmation of what the market wants to do. I'll keep it at that for this weekend. It isn't really a market update. It's more so a call to arms for many people out there who are sitting on the fence and they're not sure what to do with this market. Uh, again, it's very compelling what is going on underneath the surface of you know, the daily price action, these candlesticks, which are you know already sort of painting a picture right now. It's very important that you at least have, again, an understanding of what this market is doing and where it may be he headed as we move further into 2015, also into 2016. Uh, I think maybe 2016 will be the year of bigger events for the US market. So have a great weekend anyway. Take me up on the offer. It is a call to arms. Um, send me an email, success at pivotpoint-trading.com. That recording is up online as we speak. Um, and I am signing out for this weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you uh, for some more routine, you know, YouTube market updates at the end of closes next week. Probably, uh, I'd say Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, potentially. If there are any big movements in the markets, I will bring that to your attention. Other than that, have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you next week in the YouTube market updates. All the best traders around the world. Goodbye.